Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nazmus Kandekar and I'm the host of your video on Windows 8 editions. So the biggest question you might have is if you're upgrading to Windows or you have built a new PC and you want to install Windows 8, which version of Windows you to get? We have basically Windows 8 and Windows 8 Pro. You might see Windows RT and those you cannot get separately. Those come built in to special computers, tablets, special PCs that are designed to be thin, light and uh, to last have long battery life so these Windows RT tablets will not be able to run your Windows 7 applications it will not be able to run any, any old applications you have it will only have applications uh, from the Windows 8 App Store um, and it will have Microsoft Office built in but basically Windows RT are special versions of Windows that run on specific devices that is lower cost but yet they're thin and light like the iPad or other tablets you have seen but basically Windows 8 and Windows 8 Pro are the next version of the traditional Windows you have seen and it supports the new user interface like the start screen and live tiles if uh, there's lots of videos on the internet and uh, you could find books or videos or articles describing Windows 8 and the new user interface so for this video I'll not cover what Windows 8 has um, but I will say it's the biggest change in Windows history um, this is the biggest change in Windows we have, we have seen uh, for a long 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 time for years over 20 years anyways so basically um, so the question uh, you might have is which one to get Windows 8 or Windows 8 Pro of course Windows 8 Pro will be a little bit more expensive than Windows 8 um, but what I want to uh, be what I want you to know is that if you're unsure um, Windows 8 and Windows 8 Pro will have all the signature features that make Windows 8 special and advanced so the reason Windows 8 is so big is because it, it supports new types of apps and new user interface and new is just new ways to share uh, to social media and connect to the cat cloud all this will be part of all versions of windows the difference basically between windows 8 pro and windows 8 are the advanced power user or professional features that many normal uh, many average user will not will never need to use and some of them are include booting from virtual drives if you if you run multiple virtual machines you'll have a uh, Microsoft's uh, virtual machine solution called Hyper-V it'll let you run other operating systems that you own side by side Linux or Windows um, you'll be able to jo join work your work domains you'll be able to encrypt your files um, with the special passwords so basically important for enterprise who doesn't want their data to sensitive data to get lost uh, you'll have uh, the IT managers, the information technology at work or school will be able to control what people could do with their PCs gr with group policy. Basically not a feature for home and remote desktop host. Basically uh, a, a computer running Windows 8 Pro will be able to host, be host of a remote desktop. So basically if you have a um, computer with uh, Windows 8 at work, you when it, with Windows 8 Pro at work, you could come home and um, connect to your work computer and use your work computer from home. Basically, Windows 8 will let you connect to other computers, uh, but it will not be able to be host, be host of a remote desktop. So basically, you cannot have Windows 8 regular or basic Windows 8 and ha use it to uh, connect from other computers to a Windows 8 machine. You, you, you can connect to a Windows 8 Pro machine. Um, so uh, so hopefully I didn't confuse you on that um, basically so but anything to do with touch the new applications um, file history like face file history is a time machine type of thing that Macs use uh, all the neat features all versions of Windows ha have it so only decide only ask yourself do you need advanced features like being able to boot from virtual hard drive encrypt your data uh, uh, manage multiple PCs on your work domain um, use multiple operating systems with a Hyper-V uh, solution or anything like that um, uh, so basically uh, if you need things like that you'll want to go for Pro um, but other than that Windows 8 is fine um, also Media Center fans Windows Media Center fans you will need Windows 8 Pro to be able to use Windows Media Center it will be as an downloadable add-on but only for Windows 8 Pro users um, I don't know how much money it'll be, how if it'll be free or not. Um, sometimes it may require you to pay for it, but in promotional, there may be promotions where 
uh, promotional periods where Windows Media Center will be free, but it will be for Windows 8 Pro. So if you use Windows Media Center as your DVR, you will need Windows 8 Pro or you could stick to Windows 7. So basically, um, here we have Windows uh, Windows Editions. I hope you found this video uh, helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever on upgradability or more, inf if you need more information on specific uh, things about Windows 8 Editions, please ask. I will if if there's I will answer your questions. I will answer all of your questions. And if uh, I'll make another video if this is not clear enough. If there's one particular feature that you're um, wondering. I will. Uh, you could ask me. I will. I will answer that. Uh, I'll have this chart on um, on the description box of this video. So just click the link if, if uh, for the detailed information uh, of the list. Uh, if you want to see the list uh, yourself, I recommend you do. But basically, for advanced features, um, you will you want to get Windows 8 Pro. But for most of the Windows 8 features, you're fine with Windows 8. Also, if you don't know at the time of this recording. When Windows 8 becomes available, you can upgrade to Windows 8 Pro for only $40. So if you have Windows XP 7 or Vista, you can upgrade to Windows 8 Pro for uh, until January of 2013. You can upgrade to Windows 8 for only $40. So check that out. Uh, when Windows 8 becomes available, uh, should be around September, October 2012. You could go to Windows.com and find more information on that. Um, so, uh, if you have any other questions, let me know, post your comments, and thank you for watching.